This tutorial will cover the basics on navigating the program, customizing grids, and finding information. We'll start by highlighting the three main areas of the program. The ribbon bar, the search pane, and the main work area. The ribbon bar acts as a menu system to access all areas of the program. You have the standard items such as home, electronic billing, tools, and support. One unique feature of the ribbon bars is that they're dynamic. As we open patients and claims, you will notice additional ribbon bars that appear with items relevant to items you're working on. The search pane is used to navigate your existing company file. Here you will find all of your patients, claims, reports, and tasks. Within each tab are additional detail screens that allow you to quickly find information without opening additional screens. Lastly is the main work area. When the program opens, the home page is shown automatically. Every time a new item is opened, a new tab will appear. Click the different tabs to view each item. To return to the home page at any time, click the home icon on the ribbon bar or click the home tab. Use the X button to close the tab. Now let's talk about the grids. Grids are used extensively throughout the program and it's very important to understand their powerful features. When you customize a grid, it applies only to you. It will not affect other users on the system. You can design the layout to maximize your efficiency. Grids allow you to sort, filter, and customize columns to fit your needs. To start, let's talk about the terminology used with grids. At the top, you have the grouping panel. When you drag columns into this area, the grid will group by that column. The column headings show the name of the column, allows you to sort rows by clicking the column heading, and filter by using the built-in filter menu. The filter row is where you will do most of your work. Typing into this area will filter the list, reducing the amount of data shown. The rows themselves will sometimes have buttons for specific tasks, and the row itself is used to open the item, typically by double-clicking. Let's talk about sorting. The simplest way to sort is to click the column heading, causing the rows to sort in ascending order. This is shown by the triangle icon shown in the column heading. If you click the column heading again, it will sort in descending order and the triangle will flip over. Multiple columns can be sorted by holding the shift key while clicking the new column heading. You will notice a triangle icon on each column heading you click while holding the shift key. To clear any sorting, right-click the column heading and select Clear Sorting. Filtering is very simple. To filter the list, type in the first few letters of the name. Notice that the grid changes dynamically as you type. Use the X button at the far left to clear the filter. Using the percent wildcard character allows you to find text within the column data. In this example, if you're looking for Tom, you can enter Tom and the grid will show rows that have Tom in the column. You can filter in one or more columns as needed. Another feature is the filter menu. Clicking the filter icon allows you to select from a list of available items. It also includes blank or non-blank values. The columns themselves can be reordered. Dragging column headings left or right will change the order. To change the visible columns, right-click a column heading to open the grid menu. Select Column Chooser to show the list of available columns. Adding columns is as simple as dragging the item into position. Notice the location arrows that show you where the column will be placed when dropped. Remove columns by dragging the column out of the grid. Notice the X indicator. Remember, you're only changing your grid, not everyone else's. Column width can be changed by dragging the edge of the column or double-click to automatically set the width. If you get into trouble and have made too many changes to the grid, you can always restore the grid back to its original settings by right-clicking a column heading and selecting Restore Grid. To open a grid item, double-click the row and the item will open into the main work area. Notice that the ribbon bar has changed to offer patient-specific options. We can create a new claim, payment, task, or authorization. We can also see that patients' claims, services, and other items. There's also an action section to copy the patient or apply a patient template. Each ribbon bar will be different, so be sure to check them out with different items open. 
In addition to the search pane, there's also a find item that allows you to easily search for any item type in the system from patient to disbursement. One thing to note is the search pane will only show active patients, whereas the find window will show all patients whether they're active or not. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any additional questions, please contact us or visit easyclaim.com.